Hello everyone, today we're going to tour the Mud Volcano, Dragon's Mouth, and Black Dragon's Cauldron here in Yellowstone. So oh night. wow, look at that bison on the road. This bison is creating a traffic jam where we are right now. Looks can be deceiving. Bison seems lazy and docile grazing in the sun. They are massive and looks as if they can hardly move. Do not be fooled. They are wild animals, no kidding. <laughs> this location smell like rotten egg caused by the hydrogen sulfide gas that escapes from the ground in this area. While touring Yellowstone, make sure you pay attention to all the danger signs and do not step out of the boardwalk. In some areas, the ground may only be a thin crust above boiling hot spring or scalding mud. There is no way to guess a safe path beyond the boardwalk. New hazards can bubble up overnight, and some pools are acidic enough to burn through boots. Throwing objects into thermal features, collecting specimens, or defacing formations destroys what nature took centuries to build. More than a dozen people have been scalded to death, and hundreds badly burned and scarred. Leaving the boardwalk or trail or taking pets beyond this point is unlawful and potentially fatal. Violators will be prosecuted. Dragon's Mouth Spring. Ah, water just burst out the side of this cave and it's making a whoop, whoop sound. Maybe like there's a dragon in there snorting. In 1920, the plank is about this wide, yeah. little bridge. In 1930, found man-made. Oh, that's kind of a causeway that went through here. And then what happened, we, the, the approach, you see the black top under by the boardwalk there? The black top came right up to here. And it was a little bridge. We put it all the way back up here. We would keep moving this. So the moral, moral of that story is it keeps changing all the time. So I don't know what it's going to be like when you come back another time. It may or may not look like this. Who knows? But uh, that's the story about what happened to this. Fifty-five right now, so probably closer to about 165 degrees. Um, and right here, boiling point is about 190, so it's not actually boiling. This is just gases being released from under the ground, but it is still very hot. Okay, so the animal will survive. Um, well, so if you if you accidentally fell in here or an animal fell in here, you would be very you would be scalded. You would have pretty bad burns. Okay. Um, and actually, more importantly than, than even temperature, this is extremely acidic. So um, this pool is somewhere between battery acid and stomach acid. It's about a one or a two Ow. on a pH scale. Um, and so even if it wasn't hot, you would still get chemical, chemical burns, burns from how acidic it is. Yep. Thank so, you. Yeah. Wow. Not very often, but it does happen. Um, in the summertime, bison like to hang out here because the, the smell of the sulfur and the other dissolving minerals keeps away some of the, the insects. Yeah, thank you guys. Oh. Keeps away insects and bugs. Um, and then, the, yeah, exactly. And in the winter, they hang out here because it's warm. <laughs> there is a bison right behind us. Down below. Right there, down below. He's a big boy, taking an afternoon rest. We are in a walking path here in the cauldron. Just resting, but it's too hot. We're halfway there. And that's where we're parked down below. Look over there. That's a huge one. Really big. There are a lot of dead trees around. Look at the wildflowers. Look over there. So many pretty well. All right. This is called Sour Lake. It is boiling, so I don't think anybody should go near that lake. Yes. Where we are should be as far as you should go. This is called the Churning Cauldron. You can hear the noise. It's just churning, churning, churning. Erupting, erupting, erupting. Rolling or boiling churning cauldron is scalding hot but not boiling and gases rise to the vent open by earthquake then rumble and bubble to the surface causing the water to boil. Wow. Okay. Turning cauldron releases some of that water and it goes down below. The mud 
mud pot roared into existence in 1948, blowing trees out by root and forever changing this once quiet forested hillside. Wow, the smell. Look at that. This is the dragon cauldron. That's called Mountain Jay? Yeah, that's a Mountain Jay. Curious. We just left the mud cauldron. This sulfur cauldron is next, right there. Yes. Right. Do not enter thermal area. There's a lot of areas that are not safe to go into because of thermal activity. This is the sulfur cauldron. This area is very acidic. Unfortunately, the buffalo got stuck there and maybe the ranger can help him out. <laughs> There's one little cauldron right there, and that's really dangerous. And there's a, a buffalo or a bison. It's right there, going for a drink. There it is. We hope you enjoyed touring this part of Yellowstone. Since we toured the entire Yellowstone during our visit, we'll be posting more videos. If you'd like to see more of our travel video, click the thumbs up and the subscribe button below. Until next time, we wish you many happy trails with your family. Thank you.